We're here today with Janet Dorncott, co-founder of Relational Solutions. Janet has been a leader in the business intelligence industry for 15 years and brings with her 20 years of experience in technology. Janet, I'd like to speak with you today about POS Smart. How long has POS Smart been around? The first release of POS Smart came out in 1998. What were you doing uh, before POS Smart? Back in 1996, we started Relational Solutions to specialize specifically in data warehousing and business intelligence consulting services. There really weren't a lot of um, technology companies. Actually, we were one of the first companies to specialize specifically in that, given a time when most companies were focused on Y2K compliance, uh, we were leading the way in data warehousing. What was the driving force behind developing POS Smart? We developed POS Smart because we used to build data warehouses across all industries. We built some of the country's largest scale implementations. We did the data warehouse implementation for Chase Manhattan Bank, for Chrysler, for Xerox Corporation, for Timken Industries, uh, for Bell South. We were part of all of those implementations. And we became known as the ETL gurus. Um, we were the first company in the country to implement either Informatica or Data Stage and really spearheaded the whole ETL um, space. So what happened is as we started going into consumer goods manufacturers, we realized that they not only had the complexities that were associated with integration for your average data warehouse, but they had the added complexity of integrating data from all sorts of other data sources. So unlike a company that might just be trying to integrate their internal SAP system with their JD Edwards system and their Oracle applications, we were doing that, but we were also integrating third-party data from Nielsen and IRI. We were also integrating POS data coming in EDI 852 files and extracting data from the uh, retailer portals as well. So we started looking for solutions that would help us streamline that process because we had to do it from scratch. And at the time, we found reporting tools specifically designed for different retailers, for category management teams, to present back to their buyers. But there really was no holistic approach to designing a foundation that would allow for the integration of all of these different data sources. So we developed the POS Smart application um, based on the knowledge that we had in terms of our data model, our cleansing and validation routines, the processes that we developed and redeveloped for, you know, all of the different anomalies that we saw regularly in point of sale data. So the first version of the application was mainly our um, foundation that consisted of the data models, the cleansing routines, the hierarchy alignments, and so forth. And today we have a complete end-to-end -end solution that not only integrates the data, but automatically creates those reports and pushes them out to the business users. So Janet, how would you define POS Smart? POS Smart is an enterprise demand signal repository. It was classified as a demand signal repository a few years ago by analysts who um, recognized the reports and the value of those reports and those reports that contain demand data. We redefined it as an enterprise DSR, demand signal repository, and the reason that we came out with that terminology was to help companies understand the difference between what we're doing and what um, other solutions out there are doing. There are plenty of nice solutions out there that just create category management reports. There are data providers out there that, pro that provide data coming from the different retailers. We specialize in the integration of that data. Unfortunately, a lot of those companies also adopted the enterprise DSR terminology. So it's very difficult to differentiate or for them to understand the differentiation. But from the ground up and from the beginning, we developed our application as a foundation to integrate data. And then the byproduct of that, of that are the reports. Now, we already do have pre-designed reports set up for category management teams and supply chain teams. Uh, but we can also use the application and use POS Smart as a hub to feed other systems as well. So if a company wanted to leverage that clean point of sale data and say populate a TPO or TPM application or a forecasting application, they're able to do so. So what differentiates POS Smart from the other solutions? POS Smart is an enterprise solution from the ground up. We have a true data integration engine built in with the flexibility to add basically any data type. Um, we can create reports for the different user communities, but we aren't necessarily replacing tools that already exist. We're not replacing data providers. We're not replacing 
specific um, portals from the different retailers. But what we are doing is we're providing a holistic approach so that executives can look at the full landscape of their business. Um, we're also providing them the ability to uh, use that data for other sources of, of information within their company. So what would be POS Smart's greatest asset? Well, the benefits of POS Smart are wide. Um, first and foremost, we help improve internal efficiencies. Um, a lot of times, actually, it's estimated that an analyst spends about 90% of their time gathering and pulling together information from different sources. With POS Smart, we automate the integration of that point of sale data. We also streamline the management of that application so that as retailers start sending new data or if data needs to be edited, we have the interfaces that allow that. Um, so we're really improving internal efficiencies, but we're also helping to improve retailer relationships by allowing the CPG manufacturer to help their retailer understand what's out of stock and uh, what out of stocks are most critical. We're also able to improve ROI by allowing that data to be leveraged across other departments. So for example, a trade promotion group might want to use that point of sale data to align it with promotions that ran so they can determine which promotions were effective and which promotions were a waste of money. I understand uh, you're starting to partner with some of the larger companies. Um, who are they and why? Our partners include IBM, Infosys, SAP, and we're also talking with other large-scale software and consulting companies. Um, IBM actually uses our DSR foundation in their demand signal repository offering. Infosys also uses our demand signal repository hub for their um, application, which integrates not only domestic retailer data, but also emerging market data. And that's because of the flexibility of our integration engine. We can integrate basically any data type, and our cleansing routines can be applied toward new data types as well. And currently, we're also working with SAP to jointly support their applications. So we already support SAP's R3, BW, um, ABAP, but we're also supporting SAP's HANA. The market's always looking for what's next. What can we expect from relational solutions? Relational Solutions is always upgrading our software. Uh, we are upgrading our POS Smart application. We're upgrading our Blue Sky Analytics and our entire Blue Sky suite of products. Uh, we've recently come out with our Blue Sky dashboards, and we're also going to be coming out with our, or actually we just came out with our post promotion analytics. So we're the other thing we're looking at is we are uh, looking at POS Smart holistically so that we're also supporting other applications, for instance, HANA. And we're also able to then target other applications, and we're partnering with other companies to do that. Do you plan to tie the social media uh, data into your current solutions? Absolutely. The whole buzz out right now is big data, and I don't think anyone out there knows big data better than relational solutions. Big data not only consists of uh, store level, item level, point of sale data, it also includes loyalty data, um, it also includes that social media chatter that everybody's talking about. And we're currently working with some partner companies that gather and collect social media chatter to help identify and um, create awareness for those CPG manufacturers, exactly what people are saying about them so that they can respond quickly. Janet, what a robust tool you have. Thanks for your time. And if you'd like more information regarding our POS Smart application, you can contact myself, Karen Kurtzweil, Karen K at relationalsolutions.com or Janet Dorncott, Janet D at relationalsolutions.com. We invite you to participate in our Relational Solutions Forum, connect with us on LinkedIn, view us on our YouTube channel, or join one of our webinars scheduled at relationalsolutions.com.